when it comes to African cichlids, I have a lot of them. And with African cichlids, one of the things that we have to deal with as African cichlid fish keepers is aggression. Now I've made videos about how to handle aggression before, how to add fish, how to manage aggression, but today I'm going to talk about my most aggressive African cichlid fish down here in this fish room. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tozawa Tanks. Now I keep a lot of African cichlids and a lot of you that have been following my channel for quite a while know that I do love my Africans. I have everything from Malawi peacocks to Mbuna to Tanganyikan fish, all different types of African cichlids. I even have West African cichlids. Now one of the things with African cichlids is they are very beautiful so a lot of people are drawn to them. They do have a lot of colors that kind of uh, almost replicate the marine world as far as like uh, saltwater fish. So when people that uh, don't know fish, they see an African cichlid tank, they think, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. So much color, they're so vibrant, are those saltwater fish. Well, we know that they are not, they're freshwater fish, but they do have a lot of characteristics that make them look like they do belong out in the ocean because of their color. Now, with that, a lot of people do love to have them, they're very popular, but they can be very aggressive to one another and to other fish when it comes to keeping African cichlids. Now, I've made videos about how to manage the aggression. Um, some of the ways that you can do it would be to have like an all-male tank, to overstock a tank, to have uh, hiding places for fish to uh, be able to get away, to have uh, like sight blocks. So if you have a large tank and you have fish on one side and fish on the other side, if you have something in the middle, they can't really see each other. So that often helps as well. But in some cases, you just have an African cichlid that is very mean and uh, very much of a butthead and will kind of cause uh, chaos and mayhem in your aquarium. Now, there are lots of different ideas as far as why, you know, one fish is, you know, hyper aggressive compared to another, especially if they're the same species. Um, and I think it just kind of comes down to the personality of that fish. Um, just like us as humans, some of us are more aggressive or more hyper than others. And the same can be with fish and animals. So, uh, for example, in my tank behind me, I've got a bunch of peacocks. They're all the same fish. They're all peacocks. Uh, Lanakara from Lake Malawi. They're African cichlids. And there are a couple in here that are much more aggressive than the other and they do kind of establish dominance and create a hierarchy. Same thing in this tank behind me here where these are my Solosi, my Chindongo or Pseudotrophia Solosi. And the males are blue, the females are yellow, and some of the males uh, are kind of the tank boss. One in particular that was subdominant and then became um, kind of the tank boss and the other guy uh, kind of had to take uh, second uh, second level or whatever. But anyway, um, you know, they can be aggressive. But I have one Mbuna in particular that was so aggressive that uh, he kind of dominated the Mbuna tank, my main uh, Malawi Mbuna tank. And something happened to where he no longer became the number one fish. Now the fish in question, my most aggressive African cichlid, is a albino red top zebra. It's a white fish with kind of an orange uh, fin on top with with red albino eyes and this fish was beautiful it still is beautiful uh, I've had this fish for maybe about four years I think I got uh, I got this fish in 2016 at an auction and it was already a full-size adult at that time so uh, the fish is probably five and a half years old or so right around there but beautiful fish um, but very aggressive and uh, kind of establishes dominance in the aquarium now recently what happened is uh, there was a change in the hierarchy of the aquarium and he got his butt kicked and he got his butt kicked to a point where I thought this fish was going to die. Um, it was uh, swimming um, erratically. It was not able to swim normally. It was kind of like almost upside down or, you know, vertical. Um, was kind of hiding in the, in the uh, floating plants in the aquarium. And just was not doing well. I had to take that fish out of the aquarium and rescue him. I thought that I might have to put this fish down by euthanizing the fish. But try to maybe just do a little bit of rehab. I put him in a 10 gallon tank by himself. Um, put some uh, Marison in there. Some antibacterial medication because he had a couple of wounds on him. And just kind of let him be. And after a few days he started to swim normally. Um, although not very active. But he was at least uh, not like upside down. But swimming in a normal direction. And a few, few days after that 
started to become more active and is now eating food and um, now when I walk up to the tank it immediately swims up to the front of the glass and waits for me to feed him so I think he's like 90% recovered so I'm gonna keep him in uh, quarantine for another week or two just kind of see how he does and then try to reintroduce him back into the main Malawi tank. Now when it comes to adding the African cichlid back into the aquarium, if I, if I reintroduce this fish back into the tank with all the other fish in there, there could be problems because it could be, you know, where he's singled out and they say, hey, wait a minute, he doesn't belong here, he hasn't been here for quite a while, let's get him, kind of a thing. So I need to make sure that I kind of change the whole makeup of that aquarium. So when I am ready to add that fish back into that tank, I will do a big water change, I'll probably move some rocks and decorations around. Um, and then that way, uh, when I add him back, the tank itself looks different because the rocks are in different places, the water's been changed, and so the fish aren't really aware of what's going on as far as how many Many of them are in there and who's who because they're saying hey what's going on our world is different so when I add fish that is what I do I always do a uh, kind of redecoration of the aquarium and do a water change in fact behind me for those of you that are hyper uh, astute you might notice that there are some different fish in this tank you might recognize some of them from another aquarium and that's a whole nother video so we'll talk about that next time but I had to do the same thing where I did a water change and kind of move some stuff around so uh, anyway I do have some other aggressive African cichlids down here that I do want to mention uh, one of those being my uh, five star generals my uh, my uh, they're a jewel cichlid um, I've got a pair that I've bred I've made videos about these beautiful fish before but they can also be very very aggressive um, however I didn't classify them as the most aggressive because they're not quite as large as this one Mbuna, and because they're in their own tank, there's really nothing to cause aggression with. And having had jewel cichlids in mixed aquariums before, um, I know that while they can be tough and hold their own, not nearly as tough as a very aggressive Mbuna. Now when it comes to aggression, it doesn't always have to be a large fish. It can be a small fish that is also very aggressive. It can be something like a Julietochromis or a Burchardi or even a small shell dweller. So uh, I actually have some Burchardi in one of my Tanganyikan tanks and these guys can be very aggressive to one another. Some of them do look quite beat up so I have to create hides in uh, you know spaces where some of them can hide and not get their butts kicked all the time so that they can be fine and not uh, have like you know torn up fins and everything. So even if you have an aquarium with some fish that you may think are not aggressive or they don't look aggressive because they're smaller, they may still be. So just make sure that if you are keeping fish that do have a tendency of having aggression that you are able to uh, address those situations. You should have a separate tank uh, available. It doesn't mean you have to have it set up. If you, even if you have like a sponge filter cycled somewhere and you have a spare tank in a closet or in your garage, you can always set it up and set up a quick hospital tank. You don't need to have a whole fish room and 30 aquariums and everything. So anyway, just wanted to make a quick little video about this situation because of the uh, fish that I thought was gonna die and rescued him and now he's swimming around fine and probably going to be just fine going back to the tank. I did want to share this little story. Um, if you do have any of your own stories about African cichlid aggression or fish aggression in, in general, please comment down below. I love reading all of your comments and your stories, so uh, please do share. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. Please subscribe if you have not done so already. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.